<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. How's it going? I'm gonna try to put you somewhere. I don't know where would be a good spot. Somewhere where I can just set you down here, where you know, might not be able to see me. Or maybe eh. you know it's hard to try to get angles here in this room. Well, we'll have to figure out something here. Oh, well, how's it going, everybody? Frank Slauson here. Maybe I'll just stand up and... If I stand up, maybe you can see me. How about that? How about that? Would that work at all? If I just stand up instead of sitting down? Probably would work the best. All right, as promised in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing a special review on the first and second season of the hit uh, comedy sitcom Mr. Belvedere. And why am I doing a, a, a DVD review on Mr. Belvedere? Well, I was able to rent this from the library. I didn't buy this, as you can tell. It all has library writing and stuff on it. But I was really surprised when I uh, got to order this on the computer because of the fact that I wasn't expecting the, you know, the lo local library to carry stuff like this. You know, because back in the day when you used to order stuff online, you'd have to order like from another library, like from like St. Paul or wherever to find stuff like this, but never around the local library area. So they got the first and second season and they also have the third season, which I did order, uh, which should be coming here hopefully by next week. So I could watch. Uh, there is a, <laughs> there is a lot of, well, I'm going to explain kind of the premise of, of this. See, when I was a kid, see, I was born in 1983, so I'm, I'm technically an 80s kid. Although, you know, when I was, you know, born in the 80s or whatever, I was so little, I didn't really, you know, I don't really have a vague, I have more of a vague memory <clears throat> of stuff that happened in the 90s because I was old enough to remember all that stuff then. I mean, I think I turned, I was like, what, six years old? In 1990 at the time so or, or yeah about about six years old anyway and so I can remember stuff from that from that time but as far as the 80s I don't really remember much you know but I am still an 80s kid but this show came out in 1985 then it lasted to about 1990 I believe about six seasons I think it uh, it ran but I never, I, I can't remember ever watching this, you know, when I was little. I probably watched it in reruns, probably, but as far as watching it when I was little, I don't remember. But it stars <clears throat> Christopher Hewitt as uh, Mr. Lynn Belvedere. And I tell you what, you know, the, w with him in here, the guy who's a British actor who you would think wouldn't be so funny or whatever because he's a big guy, just, you know... But back then, a lot of big guys, you know, were, were, were probably the most funniest out of the whole, you know, they, they were the ones that made the movie, or made the, the scene or whatever. And, and it's kind of funny, because, you know, I can see a lot of, like, uh, I don't know, it's probably weird to say, but I can see a lot of, like, uh, John Candy. John Candy never really did any sitcoms besides SCTV, which really isn't really a sitcom, it's more of variety, it's almost like Saturday Night Live. But if uh, Christopher Hewitt wouldn't have got the job as uh, Mr. Belvedere, I could have easily seen John Candy uh, playing Mr. Belvedere. It's kind of funny. It's kind of weird why. Not just because he's a big guy, but just some of the facial expressions or that he gives and, and, and some of the... Uh, just the way he acts, kind of. I could see John Candy doing something like that. You know, which I'm surprised that he never... John Candy never once ever thought of uh, doing a, an actual sitcom because even Tom Hanks did a sitcom, you know, Bosom Buddies, you know, whether it was successful or not, he still went on and did, you know, started his career doing sitcoms while he was still acting and all that. Same with Michael J. Fox and everything. A lot of actors used to do that. Then it started, also started Bob Euchre, who, uh, you know, mostly people know him as Mr. Baseball, as the guy who uh, got choke slammed by, uh, or got choked out by uh, Andre the Giant, of course. The rest of my year, uh, I believe it was Four, I think it was. Anyway, uh, which is kind of cool because this he makes his technically he makes his acting debut, and I think you know if you guys remember, I believe Major Major League, I believe and Major League Two. I think he was 
Yeah, he was in Major League, I know that much. And I believe Major League 2 as well as a sports announcer. But he also did some other things too. But he kind of made his acting debut when he started doing Mr. Belvedere. Uh, so he, everybody else you know, has been acting, I guess, prior to that. Even Christopher Hewitt, he, if you look at my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, I found an old video of uh, Christopher Hewitt doing a Sarah Lee pound cake commercial from the mid-70s, which is kind of cool, and it was out the mustache. Uh, and the funny thing about this, because uh, uh, Christopher Hewitt died in 2001, it's almost 10 years ago now. It'll be 10 years here soon, I think at the end of the month, when Christopher Hewitt passed away. I think it was August 29th, I think, 2001. Anyway, it'll be 10 years since he passed away. And he was, I believe, 80 years old, if I'm not mistaken, about. Because he was born in 1921. So, yeah, he would have been 80 years old. Now he would have been 90, if he was somewhere around. But I guess he died of diabetes and a heart condition or, or something like that. Heart failure. He was a big guy. And he lived his life as a bachelor. I don't think he ever got married. I'm sure he, he dated a lot. But he never, he would, as far as I read his Wikipedia... He never dated at all so it's kind of like me kind of a I mean I've dated but uh, still been a bachelor still a bachelor to this day I guess hopefully not forever but who knows sometimes being a bachelor is probably the best sometimes <laughs> but who knows uh, also uh, another key figure stars uh, a person who I actually uh, uh, just became friends with on Facebook and yes he does have a Facebook he is a he is a real person and he's still around uh, in the acting scene, maybe not so much in movies and all that, uh, maybe not so much in uh, you know mainstream stuff that you see on TV. I mean, yes, he's known for playing Wesley T. Owens in the uh, hit show Mr. Belvedere, but his name is Bryce Beckham, and he actually has a Facebook page that uh, that he and I just became friends on Facebook, and we have been communicating here and there. I watched some of his uh, videos. Uh, he does a thing. He works for a company called Drama Three Fourths or Three Three Quarters or whatever. It's out of California, and it's uh, it's a variety of videos. It's sketch comedy and stuff like that that he does. And I watched a few. Yes, Bryce, I've I've checked out your your Facebook link and I've checked out your your website, and I'm pretty surprised. I mean, you guys got a lot of videos that you've done over the last few years that. Uh, some have won awards or local awards or whatnot. Some, some have been. I don't think they've ever been shown on TV, but I think they've won some awards as far as that goes. Uh, and uh, it's a possibility. I'm not going to say right now, but it's a possibility because he said he's kind of busy right now, which is which is totally fine. But I just want to just kind of show him some of my videos, uh, just so he can so he can check them out and whatnot, see what he thinks, you know, and give me some pointers if he likes or whatever. Because I really, I really want to learn a lot about this guy, uh, because I think it's kind of cool that he's still around doing acting and all that stuff, even if it's not so much on TV. But uh, there's a possibility that he and I might be doing an interview, maybe later on down the road. You know, later on, you know, in September or October or whatever. He's free right now. He's, he's not free right now. He's pretty busy. But there's a possibility. But until then. I just wanted to show him some of the videos that I do and whatnot, and, and I will show him this video too if he wants to take a look. I know he probably gets sick of uh, hearing about Mr. Belvedere, or maybe he doesn't get uh, sick enough about it. Some people, you know, that's uh, you know when they only have uh, a certain claim to fame or whatever. Some people like it, like hearing about it all the time, and some people don't. You know, some people will get sick of it. But like uh, a guy who gets sick of it, I know is uh, Elon Mitchell Smith. Because I, I tried getting a hold of him one time. Uh, yes, I do have connections like that, you know, if I haven't told you before. Uh, one time I was trying to do an interview with uh, Elon Mitchell Smith, who played Wyatt uh, in the movie uh, Weird Science. And that's pretty much his big claim to fame. Although he's done other things like The Wildlife and uh, Chocolate War and uh, A Journey to the Center of the Earth and all that stuff. And, and Superboy, I believe. But... His big claim to fame is playing Wyatt in uh, Weird Science. And he uh, he st said in interviews and he even told me that he has no interest. He, he wants people to forget about that stuff. You know, forget about, you know, him being in that movie or, or, or 
talking about that stuff because right now he he, he wants to talk about if you if, if you want me to do an interview the only way he let me do an interview with him is if I if I were to talk about some of his current stuff like what he's doing like uh, you know being a teacher and all that stuff which would have been fine but you know the thing is with me it's like I I you know I I want to ask questions that may have been asked before but probably haven't you know who knows and why would you the thing is, why would you not want to be know, known for the things that you've accomplished? I think that's pretty great. You know, it probably does get sickening after a while. But remember, there was a reason why you did it. Why you want to become a part of the acting field, not just to make some money. You know, you wanted to do it because you, it was an opportunity for you to, to start, even as a young kid, to start your career out young at, young, at a young age instead of waiting until after you were you know, older and all that stuff. There's a lot of child actors like that that, uh, you know, don't mind being noticed for what they what they brought to the table. I'm pretty entertained by what I see because I, this, you know, a lot of people who I used to interview who only had one claim to fame and, and that has followed them the, pretty much the rest of their life. But there's a lot of people that I've interviewed that have done a lot more than that. It's just kind of sad, like, like even with Bryce here, you know, I don't know... A whole lot about the guy right now but I don't know if he's done like other movies like if he was a part of other like during that time in the 80s I know he did some guest appearance on some other TV shows and stuff while he was doing the Mr. Belvedere thing but I don't know if he was in any big films or anything like that I guess he I guess Bryce you could tell me if you if you want to or whatever uh, what you were in or I guess I could just Wikipedia it I suppose <laughs> Anyway, so Mr. Belvedere, it, this uh, this uh, set comes in a five disc DVD. Uh, right now, we're well. I'm actually rewatching it with my mom right now because uh, you know I watched it already the whole series. It didn't take that long. It only took maybe. I mean, if I would have watched it all day long, it probably would have only took maybe. Well, I guess it would have took only eleven and a half hours, but I took some breaks in between, so it took a few days, but. I enjoyed it though, and I can't wait to get uh, to watch season three. It's a, uh, it's definitely a, a must-have for anybody who ever likes that sort of stuff in their collection, and uh, you definitely won't be disappointed. Uh, there's humor in here, and there's also you know like like sitcoms also cover a lot of real life experiences and stuff like that. Uh, there's situations on here like about you know getting invited to parties, uh, drinking, uh, AIDS. You know, yes, AIDS, because uh, this was back in the eighties when AIDS were, was pretty much a big, big thing back in the day. It was still, it's still a big thing to talk about, but you don't hear so much about it now, like you would normally hear. And I'm sure it's getting dark out here now. I'm trying to turn the light on, but yeah, I mean, it's just that's how it is. And uh, but a lot of real life situations, but also good, funny, very funny episodes too that uh, definitely uh, made me laugh. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a good set, and so you won't be disappointed. So it's Mr. Belvedere. It comes from a great company, too, Shout Factory. They're the ones who are also responsible for uh, bringing out the Transformers set as well as many, many, many other great shows, even Spin City. Uh, all four seasons of Spin City that came out with Michael J. Fox uh, were Shout Factory related. And I kind of wonder if they're going to do that with the season five or season six with uh, Charlie Sheen took over. But... Anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another great video. Hopefully you enjoyed my review. Hopefully it wasn't too long, but I wanted to get I wanted to be as informative as I could, especially when certain people are that I uh, got hold of or might be watching this. I want to make it as good as detailed as I can because there aren't many people that do stuff like this anymore, especially when you can find the person who who was a uh, you know in you know in in the show. And, 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 and converse with that person, you know, on Facebook now. So, and maybe hopefully do something together here in the future. Because I would love that. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another great Frank Slauson Show video. I'm Frank Slauson, and bye-bye.